everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! <laughs> new to my channel, my name's Alex, this is Archie, he's my feathered son. If you don't like birds or if you plan on complaining about the bird being in the video, you should leave now. Bye! Now that that's done, if you've been around for a while, you may know that I just got back from Japan. So while I was there, I was taking lots and lots of snaps of everything that I was doing and everywhere that I was going and I was posting them on my Instagram. I kept getting requests from people in my inbox saying, please do a haul video, please do a haul video. So I've decided to do two. I thought that I would put everything that I bought in Japan into one video but this is me we're talking about and <laughs> I didn't want to make a feature length film so I do have to split it up. So I'm doing the Harajuku haul in this video and I'm going to post another video which is basically all the other stuff that I bought. Here's the thing with Harajuku. It's a busy place. Specifically Takashita Street. Now no, I didn't swear YouTube, please don't demonetize me. Takashita Street is the shopping street. So it's a really long street that runs down the center of Harajuku. It's right in front of the JR station. On this particular trip, I just so happened to be in Japan during Golden Week. And if you don't know what Golden Week is, it's essentially a very, very long public holiday and everyone goes and sees all the tourist attractions. The whole country's on holidays and they all go see every popular side you can imagine. So when I got there, there were people everywhere. It was like, I, I couldn't even move. There were so many people. So, <laughs> they even had the police there basically roping off the street and stopping people from entering because there were so many people. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. There were so many people in the street already that people couldn't even move. They were packed in like sardines. It took about 25 minutes for us to be let into the street and when we finally made it, every single store was so packed full of people that I couldn't get into any of them. So I basically looked from the outside in, took pictures of the things that I wanted, and then I said to Daniel, we're gonna have to come back. <coughs> Did you just say Daniel? I know this sounds terrible, but we basically kind of like shuffled around our trip just a little bit so that I could go back to Harajuku on the last day. So on our last night in Japan, I raced over to Harajuku and it was still pretty busy. I think I got there at about 6 or 7 p.m. Most places close at 8 to 8.30. So I basically had to race my way through the street and do some speed shopping. If you want to go to Harajuku, there's a couple of ways that you can get there. There's the JR line. And if you have a JR rail pass, it's really, really easy. You just jump on a train, try and go from Shinjuku or somewhere that has a direct line and just come out of the station and the street is right in front of you. There's also a metro line, but the... <laughs> I'm not going to go into the confusing Japan rail system, it's, it's very confusing. Get the JR train to Harajuku and you'll be fine. So when you come out and you start walking into Takashita Street, it's really, really easy to get distracted by all the pretty things. I mean, as soon as you get there, there's going to be Lolita, there's going to be food, crepes. The very first store that you come across is called Wigo, and a lot of people in the pastel, kawaii, Harajuku kind of community. We all know about Wego. So as soon as you walk into Takashita Street, you'll see Wego and you'll go, oh my god, and you'll go racing in there and you'll spend all of your money there and you haven't even seen the rest of the street. So I highly recommend that you just walk straight past, just have a look at it and keep going. Because if you go in there, I guarantee you, you're going to blow your budget before you've seen anything. If you keep making your way down the street, there's a whole bunch of street there's a whole bunch of side streets as well, so don't forget to explore those. You can find some really, really interesting secondhand stores in the side streets, and on the main street, that's where you'll find sort of the bigger brands like Wego and Pink Latte and... I don't, uh, I don't even know what the rest of them are. <laughs> Don't forget to also cast your eyes upwards because there are lots of stores up the stairs as well. It's really easy. I mean, I know I did this the first time I went to Harajuku. I just walked down the street and I just looked at the shops that were on street level. But there are shops up and there's shops down. There's shops, if you go down the stairs, you'll find stores. If you go up the stairs, you'll find stores. Really, I recommend that you take quite a while, take at least maybe like six hours to explore the place because I mean, I did all of this in one and a half hours and I saw all of this stuff that you're going to see in this video. 
but I only saw a fraction of what's in that street. So make sure that you take a lot of time to spend there. Now, it's not cheap, I'm gonna tell you that. Harajuku is not cheap, and it's not somewhere that you go if you're on a budget. I mean, yes, go there if you wanna have a look, but if you wanna try and do some serious shopping in Japan, I recommend that you save up for your trip. I know a lot of people say that they've saved up money to go on a trip and then they race over there, but they don't have that much to spend. But I would definitely recommend if you're going all the way to Japan and you're really interested in shopping and you want to see Harajuku and Shibuya 109 and all these buildings and places that, places that you've heard about online, take that little tiny bit longer to save that little bit more so that you can really enjoy yourself. Because the first four times that I went to Harajuku, I couldn't afford anything. The first time that I went, I came back with a backpack and a love heart shaped handbag. The second time that I went, I think I came back with a necklace and that was it. And the third time that I went, I didn't buy anything and this is the fourth or the fifth time and now I've finally been able to afford to buy stuff. And this is not as much stuff as I wanted to buy, but the stuff is expensive. So I definitely recommend take that a little bit longer and save a little bit more money so that you can buy the stuff that you want. Because there's nothing worse than going there, seeing all these beautiful things, not being able to afford it, and then thinking about it for a really, really long time and feeling sad. Without further ado, I'm going to open up some of these bags. I can't even remember what I bought. I've been back in Australia for a little while now, and I left all of this in their packets because I wanted to film a video, but I just haven't had time. I'll start off with Wego. So like I said before, don't go into Wego as soon as you walk into the street, because there's lots and lots of other things to see. However, Oh, sorry, mate. I'm not one to listen to my own advice. I went straight in. I was considering getting one of these, you know, just in case I have a collab with Wenji. And can someone please tell me who is Esther? I've seen that Lazy Oak did a collab with Esther and now Wego's done one. I, I don't understand. What is this bunny? What, what is this dopey bunny? Can someone please tell me? Oh, and I saw these slippers and now that I'm looking back, I wish that I'd bought them because they're really cute and this could basically be a backdrop for my videos and I wouldn't be mad. And I wanted that shirt. These are all so cute. I think these were about maybe $5 each. And then there were phone cases that wouldn't fit my phone. And then there were these adorable unicorn purses, which I fell in love with. It's basically like the unicorn emoji in coin purse form. And then there was this phone case, and when I saw this, I thought to myself, I reckon I could make that. I actually have a unicorn silicon mold. I think I could make these phone cases. Bath mats, they were cute too, and pen pineapple, apple pen. And these pencil cases, you don't impress me, little but fierce. I feel like this could be merch, like YouTube merch. This looks like a YouTuber's merch to me. <laughs> be weird, stay weird. These are such good catchphrases. And then there's this thing. I mean, this is just so cute. It's just a pencil case full of random rainbows. And avocado. I love avocado, so these bags are perfect for me. And all of these skirts too. I wish that I had time to try some of these on, but they were closing pretty soon, so I'm very sad because these were adorable. And then squishies because squish squish bish. Oh, and these heart mirrors, they were $5 and they have little lights in them and these little heart cases. And these hangers, you could make your entire bedroom so cute. I, I feel like, oh, look, and these, I forgot about these. I wish that I'd bought these now looking back. These are only $13 this pack and I know Lime Crime sells these brushes and they're so expensive. Look, how adorable. Oh, they're 700 yen, those ones. Totally worth it. And these mirrors, there are a whole bunch of little mirrors and they were kind of like silicon stuff on the outside. And then hollow band-aids and unicorn band-aids, so it was basically like Christine and I turned into band-aids. And I used to buy these sort of things all the time in the past. Every time I've been to Japan, I've bought some sort of cute key ring. And this is the only time that I haven't come back with a key ring, so I'm very sad. I kind of wish that I'd bought one of these because these are so cute and they were really cheap too. And these purses, fluffy purses, <laughs> so cute. And these outfits, this is kind of like Korean style. And then there were the phone cases that I absolutely loved, but my phone won't fit and life isn't fair, and more phone cases that my phone won't fit. I, I don't understand, how can you have this many phone cases? There's not a single one for an iPhone 7 Plus. It makes no sense, I'm very angry. Oh, and there's also a whole bunch of really, really cute 
fishnet stockings in Harajuku, like everywhere that you go. These are only $3 and they're in all different colours and if I didn't already have a whole bunch at home I probably would have bought some. And there was a DIY section and for a very brief moment I was very very tempted to become a DIY channel because I can imagine doing a whole bunch of cute stuff with all these things. I'm actually thinking of doing a video where I take the crappy clothes from my haul videos that I didn't like and maybe like trying to do some DIY projects with pins and patches and stuff. And I figure this place is called WeGo because this is where we go to spend all our money. <laughs> I never really saw the point of these things but I bought one anyway. And I really, really, really regret not buying that bag. And all the shoes that will never ever fit me. I had a terrible issue with shoes in Japan because the biggest that they come is basically size 40 and I'm a size 41. Pins, pins are something I really, really want to get into. And there's an Instagram account called Once Upon a Pin and they have the cutest pins ever. So I was going to buy some of these, but then I was like, nah, no, I think I'll save my money and buy them from her because she's like an independent artist and she makes them herself and they're her designs. Oh, and if I'd had enough room in my suitcase, I would have taken home one of each of these pillows because they were all like $3. And these were the cutest headphones I've ever seen. And then the socks, you can get two pairs for $5. And they were all so cute, especially these ones down the bottom. I wish that I'd bought some of these. I can't believe I didn't. Actually, I, I don't even know why I didn't. I'm really upset with myself now, looking back at this and filming this recording and <laughs> being very sad I didn't buy those. Oh, and then there was this dude carrying all his girlfriends shopping. I'm exhausted. <laughs> this is tiring, hard work, doing shopping in a gigantic store where everything's adorable and you want to buy everything but you can't. So here's the stuff that I came out with. I saw this top on a mannequin and I absolutely fell in love. I thought it looked so good and the, <laughs> the moment I saw it, I had to buy it. Now it looks pretty plain from the front, but on the sleeves, it's got Pepsi. Bepis? I didn't actually get a chance to try this on, so I hope that it fits me and I hope that it looks as nice as it looked on the mannequin. This top was $30, so I don't know if it was worth $30, to be honest. I probably should have tried it on first, but it might look a little bit better if I tuck it in. Whoa. What do you think? Do you like it? If you've been around for a while, you know that I'm really fussy about shades of pink. This is a really cute shade of pink. It's like a sort of like a baby pink, not a dusty pink or a hot pink. This is like a really nice shade of pink for me. I really like it. This was $30. When I say $30, I'm saying American. Ah, I know, I know. I'm saying US dollars because most of you guys are from America. But if you're from Australia, you can kind of tack on a little bit extra, say maybe it's like 37 or $40 depending on the exchange rate, but yeah 30 US dollars for this So this is the only piece of clothing that I bought from the WeGo store because I wanted to Save my money and have a look at all the other stores as well But I got a whole bunch of really really cute things while I was in there now a dilemma that I kept coming across in Japan Was phone cases. I have an iPhone 7 plus and I also have an iPhone 10 I have a work phone and like a personal phone and my iPhone 7 plus I actually I have a piece of paper stuck to it right now with a Pikachu on it from a Wish video of mine. Long story. But the iPhone 10 doesn't have a phone case. So I was looking for phone cases for both of them. But I couldn't find phone cases for either. Anywhere. They had iPhone 6 Plus, they had iPhone 7, but not 7 Plus. I kept finding these beautiful, beautiful phone cases. And I thought to myself, oh they were really cheap too. And I thought to myself, damn I wish they had phone cases for me. But then I was inspired and I thought, you know what, I reckon a whole bunch of my followers probably have a f an iPhone 7. So I thought, even though I'm sad that I can't have it, I want someone else to have it. So, I bought this phone case, this is for an iPhone 7 or iPhone 8, and I bought this to do a little giveaway. So throughout the video, if you keep watching, you'll see a couple of items that I've bought for a giveaway. And basically, just leave a comment down below and Tell me by the end of the video when you see all of the items that I'm giving away. Just tell me which item that you would want to win if you won. To enter, just drop a comment below, make sure you're subscribed, and 
if you have Instagram, drop me a follow on Instagram and in your comment, just tell me your username. And if you don't have Instagram, it's fine. Just leave a comment below. But if you do have Instagram, then just follow me over there and you'll get an extra, extra point. I'll put your name in the draw twice if you follow me on Instagram and you subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> this is for an iPhone 7 or 8. So if you have an iPhone 7 or 8, then this might be a prize that you'd want to win. It's really cute. Look. How adorable is that? God, I wish that this would fit my phone. It's not fair. I also got, for the holosexuals out there, I got some holographic band-aids. Now, by the way, everything that I'm showing you was $5. So, holo band-aids. And it's real holo. It's not iridescent, none of this fake crap. It's real holo. I also got unicorn band-aids from WeGo as well. No, there's no bird band-aids, I'm sorry. I got these headphones. Look how cool these are. They're so cute. Oh, they were 900 yen, which is like $10. I got a phone ring. I'm gonna chuck that on the iPhone 10, seeing as I couldn't find a phone case for it. I also got two little coin purses. One for me and one for the giveaway. So they're unicorn coin purses. Everything that I got for the giveaway was about 500 yen, so no one is getting a prize that's worth more than any other prize. <laughs> so one of those is for me, and one of them is for the giveaway, and none of them are for Archie. So as you keep going down Takashita Street, you'll find some really, really interesting stores. There's this Paris Kids, which is basically a store that's full of adorable accessories. Daiso, but there's Daiso in a lot of places. There's Pudikuda everywhere, and of course crepes. There was a whole bunch of different types of crepes and even though I've been to Harajuku four times or five times, whatever, I've never tried a crepe. I can't believe I haven't, but I mean, look, they even had savory crepes. Like that's tuna and I think that's bacon and avocado. And then this one here was uh, what, teriyaki chicken and mayonnaise. <laughs> There's stores like this, the Silhouette, which is full of really adorable hoodies, like this one with eggs on it and this one with uh, sushi on it. And I wish I'd bought that and I can't believe I didn't. There's these sort of stores that have kind of like alternative clothing and I was in love with these really interesting tartan print things. I thought they looked so good and I was really tempted to buy it. <laughs> and then this crazy place, it's really hard to miss. It's full of the most incredible costumes that you've ever seen. They're kind of expensive though, you know, probably like a hundred to two hundred dollars. And then of course, there's all the stores full of Korean fashion as well. Korean fashion and Japanese fashion kind of go hand in hand. And you can buy socks everywhere you go, like these Ikea ones that probably don't come with instructions. And there's amazing jewelry. I love these, these are so beautiful. Wish I'd bought that choker. Damn, every time I look back on footage, I wish I'd bought one of those too. All of this footage that I'm looking back, sushi cats, why didn't I buy that? Why did I just take a video of it and not buy it? I mean, it came in white, why didn't I buy it? and hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are everywhere in Japan. And this, wow, I find you. I came across this little stall and it was basically just a table with a whole bunch of really, really cute Korean looking clothes on the table. And they had cute socks and cute accessories. And they had a sign that was pointing downstairs. So it was basically like a, a small selection of what a store had to offer, but downstairs. So they put these little stalls out because there's really no other way to catch your attention to let you know that they're downstairs. Ice cream with friend. The butter in sugar. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> there's heaps of Sesame Street things and then a lot of Coke memorabilia. And I wish the blue one had been Pepsi. <laughs> and lots of things that say milk, that's very Japanese. And then this table, look at these cute little sushi tops, like that's nigiri, and then there was an onigiri, another nigiri, and then the gankan was the white one. And if it had been a piece of salmon nigiri on the white shirt, I would have bought it. And this says gohan, eat every day. So gohan is like lunch. Oh, that says, that's grape, banana, popcorn. Look, sweet t-shirts, 1,290 yen. I kind of wish I'd bought some, and then I spotted this. Is this familiar to anyone? If you've been around my videos for a little while, you might recognize this from my Wish haul. Yep, that's right. Did these guys buy it from Wish? Or did Wish copy this store? It's really hard to know. <laughs> 
but that was $20, so they're making a really nice profit. So I saw the little table full of the cute things. I did that, I screamed, and I went downstairs and I found this adorable store. It was mostly Korean fashion and it was a discount store, like it was meant to be reduced, but it was still a little bit pricey as far as I was concerned. But you know, I had saved up for a while and I was like, ah, oh, it's not every day that I'm gonna be in Harajuku. This store was so cute. Korean fashion is so nice. Look, there's Coke stuff everywhere. Crepe themed things, another Coke themed thing. Wear scenario. This says cherry. That's really cute, but I've seen that on AliExpress and I've seen this there too. That says ganbatte, which basically means like try hard or do well kind of thing. Everyday lunch. And then I saw these skirts and I loved them. They're so cute. There was a lot of nice skirts in this store. I think this store was called Girl Crush. And then Totoro Bread on a t-shirt, because why not? This skirt was really cute too. And this reminded me of Archie and I, except it's Snoopy. So this stuff was all $10, and look, who remembers the mint debate? I would call that mint. What color would you call that? Uh, that's mint, that is mint. So I spent maybe like $70 here. So the first thing that I got was this top. This one was $22. Come on, you have to get off, I gotta try it on now. So it's a loose fitting top, but I really loved it because of these details. Oh, I'm sorry, don't have a fit. I'll take my hair out. So I bought it because I loved the details on the sleeve. They basically tie up and cinch the sleeves up a little bit. So that's what the sleeve is like without cinching it. The only thing here is it's probably a little bit difficult to tie it myself. I'll see how I go. Uh, that's actually not too bad. So I like that it's sort of loose fitting and it's quite nice quality too. It's soft, it's not really soft, but it's soft enough. It doesn't feel like these are flimsy. These eyelets feel like they're on really, really well. This one, I'll see if this looks any good tucked in. Yeah, this looks really nice tucked in. I'm really happy with, whoa. I'm really happy with this one. I love that Korean trend where they wear really baggy tops and tuck them into skirts. Absolutely love it. And speaking of skirts, I also got a skirt. I got this one. So this skirt was $30. Archie likes it. <laughs> Can you please not? I'm really into these O-rings and it's got a elastic bit at the back. This was a one size fits all. Now this is something that I wanna talk about briefly because the f Can, it's, it's real talk, Archie. I need you to be serious for a minute. The first few times that I went to Harajuku, I think I was an Australian size 16 um, and nothing fitted me because it's, it's Japan. Asian sizes are a lot smaller than Western sizes and it was really, really disheartening and I remember the first time that I went and I couldn't buy any clothes and all that I bought was a handbag and a backpack and I'm, <laughs> I'm getting emotional thinking about this, but I remember going and trying on the clothes and nothing fitted me at all. Literally, I couldn't get it, I couldn't buy a single piece of clothing. And I left Harajuku and I cried and cried because I felt really, really terrible about myself. And it just wasn't a nice experience, but I don't want that to put off anyone that is that size because I have now found that there are stores in Harajuku that cater to larger sizes, like Western sizes and normal body sizes for the Western world. And they're not necessarily on the main street, but they are upstairs. So there is this store upstairs. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't film there. They asked me to put the camera away, but they have signs everywhere that say Western sizes, Western sizes, and they have sizes that go up to like size 20. And it's basically, clothing that anyone could go in there and fit. However, they're really weird and they don't let you try it on, which this, the second or maybe it was the third time that I went to Harajuku and I found that store and I was so happy because it was finally somewhere that I could find clothes that would fit me and they wouldn't let me try them on. So anyway, the store is up a staircase. This is what it looks like. And they have some really, really beautiful stuff in there, mostly cosplay. But there is some like standard sort of Japanese style clothing as well and you can get those in all different sizes so I just know I, I just want you guys to know that you 
may have a harder time finding clothes above a size like 12, 14 or 16 in certain stores because sometimes they do this free size thing where, I mean, this is, this at most would fit maybe, maybe a size 10 in Australia, maybe, just, but that's a free size. So that as a size six fits me fine, but free size in Japan is very, very different to what we need in the Western world. Just know there are options in Harajuku for people that are not Asian size, but they're a little bit harder to find. So anyway, I mean, I just, that got really deep and it may, almost made me cry, but I just, I just remember how terrible I felt when I went there and I couldn't find anything that would fit me. But after I went back a few times, I did find stores that do have stuff for size 12, 14, 16, 18. It is there. You just have to know where to look. I got that skirt and I got another top. Can you, can you go? Can you, I need you to go. Go over there, go. The last thing that I got from that store was this off-the-shoulder top. You can see that I, I'm buying a bit of purple. I'm really liking purple at the moment. Okay, this top was $20. I just loved the frilly details around the sleeves and around here. I thought it was so beautiful. I had to, I just had to buy it and it was only $20. Yeah, Archie, which isn't too much. It's a little tiny bit tight, just the tiniest bit. But again, this was another free size. So for Japanese sizes, I guess this is just the standard size, but it's a little tiny bit tight. But I love the colour. I can imagine wearing this one with jeans or with a skirt. No, I'll, oh, I'm going to try the skirts on when I'm standing up, so I'll come back to those. Next up... You should see Archie right now. He's scaling up my wardrobe. You right, mate? Archie? You a bad boy? You a bad boy? Okay, so the next store that I came across is called Pink Latte. Now this store brings back memories for me, like not great memories. <laughs> when I was in Japan four years ago, I went into this store, nothing fitted me. I was sad, <laughs> but you know, I kind of feel like that's part of what motivated me to want to lose weight. Like I was really, really sick of going into places and not being able to find anything that would fit me. and. Just, I remember sitting on the floor of a change room once just bawling my eyes out because I tried on like 10 different pairs of pants and not a single one fitted me. So, I like it, it was nice going back this time and being able to fit the clothes, definitely. It was, I, I felt really, really happy and I felt proud. So the first thing that I tried on was this stripy top and I got it because it has embroidered into it way I am do what one loves. So I live for poor translations. I absolutely love them. Basically, you know, it's saying like, I love the way I am. Like, do what you love. Stop! You're not welcome here anymore. Get out of here. So this was a little bit pricey. This was $30. But I said to myself, stuff it. Like I have been into this store four times and not been able to buy a single thing because nothing fitted me. It fits me, I'm gonna buy it. Like, I don't care that it's a $30 shirt and it's probably only worth 10. I'm gonna get it. Like, uh, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just felt like, I deserve this. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. This came in a variation of colors, but I really, really liked the blue and pink. I just think it's a really, really nice shade of blue and a nice shade of pink. And here's a close up of the embroidery. Way I am, do what one loves. So, that's a, that's a very, very nice life motto. I like that. So I got this and I got... I got a pair of socks. One pair for me and one pair for the giveaway. Again, these were 500 yen. They had so many nice socks in this place, but I had a look at all of them and I thought the unicorns were the cutest. I mean, there were love hearts and there were rainbows and there's a lot of slogans. And then those purple ones totally look like the ones I got from uh, Misguided. <laughs> So they're socks with unicorns on them. Which one do you like, Archie? Which color? Oh, you like the pink, do you? Is the pink the nice one? Is that the one that we're gonna keep and we're gonna give this one away? Is that what's gonna happen? Archie has spoken, guys. You can have the white one. We're gonna keep the pink one to chew on. We also got a skirt. Now, this, this was $35. I know, shocking. 
and I didn't really expect it to be so much. I thought that I read the sign and I thought it was less than that, but when I went to pay I was a little bit like, oh, $35. But actually I reckon it's worth it because it's made really, really nicely. Here it is. It's a really flattering fit and it's got these beautiful little sort of lace details. Oh, you want to sit on it, do you? Okay, right? Just as long as you don't shit on it. Archie has a terrible obsession with tags. He could be on My Strange Addiction. So the skirt has a zipper and an elastic bit at the back. There was a couple of different colours. This was the lightest blue. There was also a darker blue and then a really dark blue, kind of like a grey. This isn't my size, but they didn't have it in my size. This is a small and I normally fit an extra small, but it still fits me fine because of how elastic that it is. Watch this. So $35, I actually, it's expensive, but at the same time I think it's worth it because it's made really, really nicely. So I love this one, we'll try this one on soon. And the last thing that I got from Pink Latte were these pants. Now these were $40. And again, I had the same dilemma as I had with the skirt. These came in three different shades of blue. There was the light blue, a darker blue, and then kind of like a really dark gray blue. But again, these weren't in my size. I think these, what size are these? These are medium. So the waist is extremely elastic though. So the, the fact that it's a medium didn't really matter because they would fit me. And I reckon that if you got these in a large or maybe, I think they have an ex, oh, oh no. See on the tag here, it says that they have extra, extra small, extra small, small and medium. So these are as large as they come. So this is what I'm saying about these stores, like Pink Latte. They don't even stock large. So it's a little bit difficult if you're a, maybe a size 12 or a 14 or larger, but these fit me as a size six and they, fit, they would fit a size eight. And I think they definitely fit a size 10 as well. I've been really liking that trend with the fishnets underneath jeans. And these actually have the fishnetting built in to some little love hearts. So I'm very, very excited about them and I can't wait to put those on again. They sit at a funny height on me though. So I wasn't entirely sold when I tried them on in the change room because I was looking at myself from like directly in front of the mirror and kind of looking down. So they looked a little bit awkward. But then when I came out of the change room and I looked at myself in the full length mirror, I thought that they looked a lot better because it's really different to see yourself on different angles, whether you see yourself from kind of like looking at a mirror and looking down or looking at a mirror in the distance, it kind of changes how the clothes look on you. So when I saw them from a distance, I thought that they looked really cool. And I think they'll look really nice with a pair of high heels. So very happy with those. They were 40-ish US dollars. So in Australia, that's like maybe 55 or 60 even possibly. I can't remember the exchange rate, but it's more than I would normally pay for jeans. However, you'd never find something like that in Australia ever. That's why I decided to go ahead and get those. And then the last outfit that I'm so excited to show you, and a lot of you guys went nuts on my Instagram story over it. So the first time that I went to Harajuku and I walked past Wego Loves Chu, W Love C, that's Wego Loves Chu. Wego is the Japanese brand, Chu is a very popular Korean brand, and they have done this sort of collaboration store. And the first time that I walked past, I took a photo of this outfit and put it on my story. This is during Golden Week when it was so busy that I couldn't even get inside the store, but I photographed the outfit because I knew I wanted to come back and buy it. And everyone sent me messages and they were like, oh my God, where is that from? It's amazing, ah! I went back and got it and I'm very, very happy that I did. So once again, friend, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You have to go. Goodbye. It's funny, I didn't stop thinking about this top the whole time we were in Japan. I saw Harajuku during Golden Week and then it wasn't for ages later, like oh, two weeks later. Uh, the whole two weeks I was thinking about this outfit before I went and bought it. So I'm really, really happy that I did. This is one of those things where I mulled it over because it was quite expensive. Uh, this was $40 for this. This was $40 for this top, which is a bit more than I'm comfortable spending on just a standard top. But it's not just a standard top. It's got strawberries on it and it's beautiful. Here it is. So it's a little bit long, quite long, but it looks really, really nice tucked in. It's made of this beautiful sort of satiny material, which is really soft and really comfortable. 
and it's quite light so you could wear it in summer really easily it's very very comfy I love it so much they paired it on the mannequin with this choker so they paired it with that choker and a white skirt that's why I bought this white skirt from the Korean store I didn't want to buy the white skirt from we Go Loves Chu simply because it was very very similar to a skirt that I've bought on AliExpress for $10 except that skirt was $55 so that's why I didn't buy that. I'm just gonna put on this whole outfit and show you what it looks like. So here's the choker. Choker is so cute I love it so much. There's the skirt. Skirt has pockets. We love pockets on skirts and the white looks really really cute with this pink and I'm absolutely in love with this outfit. I think it's so adorable. The thing is, I'm not particularly good at styling myself. I'm really quite useless at styling. So I really heavily rely on what's on mannequins. They came in pink and blue, and then there were also a whole bunch of different skirts too that they paired with these cute rugby tops. And I loved the look of these tops, they're so nice. And they had so many good shoes and adorable t-shirts, but I couldn't bring myself to buy any of the shirts because I've seen a lot of this stuff online cheaper. But when I saw this outfit, I knew that I probably wouldn't find that particular shirt anywhere. These were all cute and those were cute and everything was blue and pink and purple and black and white. Lonely girl, that's me when I go shopping alone in Harajuku. These outfits are really cute too. I saw the skirt on that mannequin there and that's what inspired me to want to buy it. And then I saw the cherries and the strawberries and I don't know what it is about fruit on clothes, but fruit on clothes is so cute. I kind of, I wish I'd bought one of these shirts too and I'm very sad that none of these shoes would fit me, but they were adorable. There was a whole bunch of stuff on sale in here too. I can't believe I only bought one choker. I swear this whole video is just full of regret. More Esther Loves Chew. Collect moments, not things. Now, I can't say I agree with that because I like collecting things. But yeah, look at this change room. Look how small it is. This is actually the smallest change room I've been into in my whole life. When I saw this outfit on the mannequin, this top with a white skirt and this choker, I was like, man, I could not have styled that myself, but that is amazing. It's so beautiful. So I'm really, really happy that I bought this. And I also bought a skirt. Now, I paid a little bit too much for this skirt, but I thought to myself, no, I'm, I'm gonna get this because I never ever see this sort of thing. <laughs> but yeah, there's the skirt, and when I saw it on the hanger, I knew that I had to try it on. This skirt came in a few different colors, but I bought the blue because I thought to myself, I don't really have very much blue. This is it. Ooh, you wanna see, do you? I'm sorry it's not green. Here's the skirt. Ow, Archie, stop. You're so rude. Get, I know, you know they're not real strawberries. You can't actually eat them. Go away. So this skirt was $40. So again, $40, it's not made that well. And I have bought the same quality from AliExpress in the past. Ow. I just really like these little love heart zippers here. Are they real? I didn't even check. Ah, they're real pockets! They're real pockets, yeah! I'm sorry, I have, a, I have a big thing with pockets and being fake, but these are real pockets. So I'm very, very happy. This is suddenly worth $40 to me because the pockets are real. So I'm happy with that. And it's again, got the same elastic thing at the back and then it's just a normal material at the front. So we'll try this one on. There's the skirt. It's very cute. I'm really, really happy with it. I love the design. I love the fact that the pockets are real. We Go Loves Chu, really, really cool concept store. I thought I really want to go home with at least one piece and I ended up coming away with two. So I'm really happy with these. I better try on this skirt for you from Pink Latte as well. I wonder if this would go with this. Yeah. Okay, what did I tell you? It's such a flattering skirt. You like it, huh? Tiki tiki tiki. What's in here? Show them. Look! I just really like the shape. I love how it cinches in quite high at the waist and then flares out like that. And it's actually got a little love heart on it that says, love me like pink latte. And this skirt also has shorts built in. Ah! I know, isn't it great? It's so wonderful, I'm so happy. That's the skirts, and then the only other thing to try on is the jeans. But I'm probably going to have to actually get off the bed to show you those. So I'll show you those last. I'm just gonna... Okay, that's... There's one other thing that I want to show you that I'm super, super, super excited about. You want to see, do you? Is this what you're doing right now? Are you going... 
What is it? What is it? Now, I'm gonna show you a pair of boots, okay? When you see these boots, I want you to think to yourself, one, how much do you think they're worth? Two, think about how much I probably paid for them. Then, I want you to go to the comments section and type that number. Don't hit enter though, okay? <coughs> yeah, you understand? <laughs> this is just for fun, okay? No spoilers, don't, don't skip ahead. <coughs> so I'm gonna show you these boots. You're gonna look at them and think, oh yeah, they're probably worth this much and she probably paid this much. You see them? What do you reckon, Archie? How much do you think they're worth? Archie's having a nice close look. He's saying, hmm, how much are they worth? What do you reckon? See, they're, they're quite big. They're quite tall. They're pink. They're made pretty well. They're not leather. You know, they're just plastic. How much do you think they're worth? Have you written your comment? No, 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 don't chew on the joker. <gasps> Naughty bird. Have you written it in the comment? How much do you think it's worth? Drum roll, please. Five dollars. Five dollars. These were five dollars. So these are officially the last giveaway item. They have 23 written on them. So I don't know what system that's in, but they're quite small. Like, but they're not very big. Is a 23, I don't know, maybe like a size six or something? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. There won't be very many people that these will fit. Now these are from that store that I told you about that is up the stairs and it's got a whole bunch of stuff that's like Western size and Asian size. And I saw them in a, in a discount bucket and they were $5. And you want to know why? That's why. Do you, do you see that? Do you see that little scuff? Five dollars. And that's a really interesting thing about Japan, ladies and gentlemen, is that in Japan they pride themselves on perfection. I have a huge, you can't see it, it's all up on my wardrobe there, I have a huge Louis Vuitton collection. Real Louis Vuitton. It's worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But it's only in total a couple of hundred? Because I buy them in Japan from certified Louis Vuitton retailers where it's authentic, the products are authentic, you can pick up Louis Vuitton handbags for like 20 and $30 because there's a scratch on it or a scuff. Something that in the Western world, we wouldn't even blink an eyelid at, we wouldn't care at all. We'd be like, oh, what, there's a scratch on my Louis? <laughs> but in Japan, there's a scratch on my Louis? So you can find all these secondhand stores that sell Louis Vuitton really, really cheap and it's real. And it's because they like things to be perfect. So these boots were reduced from, I think they were meant to be $70. I think that was the original price on them. Reduced to 500 yen, $5. Like because of that tiny, tiny, tiny little scuff that will probably come off if you wipe it. Or maybe not, maybe it won't. So all of the giveaway items were worth 500 yen. So we have these really small boots. So I picked these up, they're not my size, but I thought I'll put these in the giveaway because they're so cool. And surely someone that watches my videos has small feet, like surely, surely. So there's those, that's one prize. A little unicorn coin purse, second prize. Third prize is the iPhone 7 uh, slash 8 phone case. The other prize is the pair of unicorn socks. Hey, you know what? These band-aids were also 500 yen. So let's put the holographic band-aids in there too. Just drop a comment below and let me know of those prizes which one you would want to win. Like I said before, just let me know your Instagram username. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me and you're in the running to win. I only have one more thing to try on so I'll put on these pants and then I will do my outro and uh, say goodbye. Okay, so here are the pants. Now, I know that they look a little bit funny on this angle. Like I said, it's better to look at them kind of like straight on instead of at an angle. But I'm working with a little bit of a small space, so I can't, I can't really show you properly. But here they are. They're really, really extremely wide-legged. Like, extremely. They have pockets at the back. And there's this little uh, pink latte tag here, which I believe you're probably meant to remove, but I think it looks quite cute. These would look a lot better if I had a belt to cinch it in, but I don't. 
that's something that I need to buy. I really like them. I, I just love these love huts so much. I think they're so cute. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's about all we have for you today. I'm so happy that I visited Harajuku that second time and that I actually got to see the stores that I wanted to go to the first time. So I definitely recommend don't go to Harajuku during Golden Week. Just save yourself the trouble. And it was actually really nice shopping at night. If you go during the day, you'll be able to catch things like, you know, really interesting fun food, like the Rainbow Fairy Floss, which I just got there just too late. I saw them serve this girl the very last Fairy Floss of the day and I didn't get one for myself, so I was very sad. But if you go during the day, there's going to be a lot more people. And if you're a bit like me and you absolutely hate crowds and crowds give you anxiety, then go at night. Go between maybe like 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock because everything is still open except some of the cute food stores. All of the crepe stores were still open and those crepe places are absolutely adorable. Even if you're not going to eat anything just to take pictures of for Instagram, they're so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to keep an eye out for my next Japan video and I'm going to go over everything that I bought and I have an absolutely gigantic pile of stuff. Not as much clothing in that video. It's more going to be knickknacks and trinkets and cute Sanrio things. But... Archie, come back for the... you got to say goodbye. Come say goodbye. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! There were a lot of stores selling squishies and might I say they were quite slow rising. Yes. <laughs> Look, this place had things for 10 bucks and $20 and lots and lots of cat things and things that looked like school outfits and it was a really cute one. And there was a lot of Hello Kitty stuff like, uh, Hi, I'm Hello Kitty. I am as tall as five apples. <laughs> And then this, I thought this was so funny. It's called Aggressive Bear. Better Kuma. <laughs> Better than real Kuma. And then there were some iPhone 10 cases, but I hadn't noticed them until I watched this video back. And then shoes. See this? The largest of large, 39 to 40. But I'm a size 41. So nothing here fitted me. I mean, I could kind of, kind of squeeze my feet into these. Look, these look just like those ones they sold at Dolls Kill which I was in love with, but they were expensive. So these ones, I think these were maybe $30 and they were just too tight. I mean, I could get my foot into them, but they were so painful. I wouldn't be able to wear them anywhere. So I didn't get them. And then my toes hung over the top of these. So that was a shame. And then these, they were way too tight as well, but I thought they were super cute. I really want to find a pair of these platform shoes. I think I'll probably have to buy them from YRU. And then there was this jeans mate. You want to buy some jeans mate? <laughs> thought that was really funny. None of this was my style, but they did have a whole bunch of Fila and Adidas and Lee, you know, all sporty brands. And they had a whole bunch of shoes out the front that were on sale as well. Some of these shoes were actually really cheap and they had some really interesting kind of like punk looking clothing as well that I thought was really cool. But this stuff was a little bit more expensive than the rest of it. And then there were fries and they made me very hungry. And watching this back, I'm kicking myself for not buying a pair of these long socks. These were knee-high socks, and they were only $5, and they were so, so cool. I mean, I don't know what this ACDC is. I thought ACDC was a rock band, but I can't imagine Gene Simmons wearing these, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> Wait, Gene Simmons is from Kiss. Never mind, I'm wrong. Oh, and these were lipstick containers. They were really cool. I can't believe I didn't buy one. I, mm, they were kind of expensive and I really had hoped that there would already be lipstick inside them and I wasn't really sure like how they're meant to work. I do have this blush. I highly recommend this Etude House blush. This is really nice and look at all this packaging. It is so beautiful. I loved all of it but I didn't buy any of it. I wasn't really there for makeup this time. I was more just here for clothes. But last time I was in Etude House, I bought a whole bunch of makeup. I bought lipstick and blush and eyeshadow and all sorts of things. But this time I just kind of stood back and admired it. And then I was very sad to see that fidget spinners are not dead, but they've made some cute ones, but it still made me angry. So yeah, don't forget always to sort of cast your eyes upwards. There's some really cool, interesting looking shops with cool signage, look more sushi cats, Liz Lisa. A lot of my followers shop at Liz Lisa. This is from the uh, My Melody collection. I saw people going nuts for this online. And they have an upstairs area, which is the outlet area, but it's a little bit intimidating up there. It's very quiet and there's not many people up there. But this was really cute. I would love to try and do a DIY of that top. 
So the whole Liz Lisa store is so beautiful. It's kind of pricey and I know that uh, people have been having issues lately with Liz Lisa and sizing, particularly with Western sizing. They used to accommodate for large sizes, but now it seems as though they've taken the large sizes off their website. So people are a little bit bamboozled and trying to figure out, is Liz Lisa just no longer selling larger size clothes or what? Like, is it just a temporary thing? I don't know. But anyway, it's a very pretty store. All the stuff is very frilly too expensive for me. The shoes are really cool and of course none of them are going to fit me. I loved those, those are so pretty. So there's the Pom Pom Pudin Cafe, which I would have gone to but it was closed. And there's also this cat themed cafe, where basically all of the food is served in like paw prints and stuff, it's really cute. But yeah, I was a little bit too late. This is right at the end of the night and I was a bit too late to make it in here. But it's open most of the day. But yeah, look at these cute cat themed like dishes. And then there's this Sanrio shop, which is kind of tucked into the back here. <laughs> but look at the Sanrio bags. How cute are they? I loved all of them. I wish I'd bought one. They weren't very expensive either. I think they were about $40. And there's Hello Kitty water bottles and just basically anything Hello Kitty. This is a tissue box. Like seriously. <laughs> they have, there's combs up here. See these Hello Kitty things? They're combs with a mirror attached. These are thermoses. And for some reason thermoses are really, really, really expensive in Japan. I don't know why. They're like 50 bucks. And then they had the phone cases and once again, not a single phone case for a 7 Plus. And I was very, very heavily considering getting a different phone just so I could use one of those cute phone cases. Oh, and there's a second Etude House store in Harajuku. There's two. And they sell exactly the same thing. So I don't know why I went into both, but I did. And there's a nail bar as well. Style Nanda. Now this shop, this was so cool. It's such a beautiful looking shop. And I've heard of them before, but I've never bought anything from this brand because it's a little bit pricey. I kind of think it's around the same price as Mac. But some of these packages, they, this is so cute. Look at this. I probably should have swatched it, but I mean, I wasn't really interested in buying it. I was just interested in looking at it. <laughs> the packaging is so cute. And these mirrors are really cute too. They were kind of cheap. They were only $15, which isn't too bad. But yeah, I left here without buying anything. As much as I wanted to get one, the $25 lipsticks. Kitsune means fox. Uh, I didn't even open this, so I have no idea what's in it. <laughs> This was a cool store. I always go in here every time I'm in Harajuku. They have a whole bunch of pop culture things in this store. And yes, they had squishies as well. You really can't escape the squish. It's everywhere. Look at these socks. I kind of feel like, see this? This scene right here would make a perfect backdrop for my YouTube videos. I should have just bought one of each sock and then just hung them on the wall in my apartment. And look, no eat, ditto. Ditto is not for eating. And then these cute Totoro bags, they're adorable. And this, everything here, these are all so sweet. Oh, these <laughs> make you love scissors. And Hello Kitty, these are scissors. They're very, very thin scissors, but they're kind of your handbag or your pencil case. Stationery, oh, and then uh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> and look, who needs a Pokemon Center when you've got Harajuku? There's just Pokemon everywhere in the store and it's really nicely made too. It all felt like it was really good quality and I'm pretty sure that it was licensed and uh, this is my current mood, just so you know. <laughs> Cyndaquil, go Cyndaquil. There was a uh, Dragon Ball Z water bottles, cat backpacks. I bought one of these a couple of years ago. It was the only thing I bought in Harajuku. And these look like the Kankin or whatever you call it. They totally look like a copy and I don't know what came first. Atta Girl. So this is that shoe brand again, where absolutely nothing fits me and I just have to kind of stand back and admire the shoes from afar. They have a couple of this Atta Girl shoe stores in Harajuku. And this is my face with a vein popping out when none of the shoes fit me. And then Barbie, there's a lot of Barbie merch all over the place and I wore my Barbie tracksuit in a whole bunch of different places and people kept pointing it out and taking photos. This is really cute cafe as well. It was closed, but it looks like donuts. I'm assuming they're donuts. They're cute donuts up on the second floor. And then I spotted Uno. Not sure what he's doing here without Ryland, but he's a very cute boy. This is a really sweet arcade. It's hard to miss, but it's absolutely full of adorable shops. Every single shop in here is really cute, but it's kind of hard to tell if it's meant to be a kid's shop or if it's meant to be just cute kawaii fashion, because some of them 
Uh, like, look, I actually thought that shirt said cheese pickles, I'm not lying. But yeah, some of this stuff, I'm not sure if it's meant to be for kids or not. Like, it kind of looks like it could be kids' backpacks, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I didn't buy anything here, but I just admired, because there's a lot of really nice looking things. Uh, a pleasurable curiosity. No, maybe this isn't a kid's store. I take that back. This one, this is cool, I like this. Don't forget, awesome, can do my best because you believe in me. <laughs> Living for the poor translations. Cute looking skirts too. What was this one, happy mind. Jenny, another nice one. And I really wish that I'd bought that top. Watching this back, that is such a nice top and that's really my style. I wish I'd tried that on. And also these pants, these are really cool too. Gee, there are so many things that looking back at this video, I'm like, damn, why didn't I get that? And I should have got that. And I should have got that too. Active fresh girl, pea latte. Ah yes, who doesn't like a good pea latte? And then upstairs, there's a food court right next to Wego. Now this one is open until 9 p.m. And some of the places were still open when I went upstairs, but I wasn't hungry. I was going out for dinner with Daniel afterwards. So I just went up and had a look at the cafeteria looking area and it was really cute all different themed uh, themed places 777 world but this place was kind of cool they had secondhand things and they had new things as well but it was more of like a kind of vintage looking store everything here was under ten dollars on this rack these things fifteen dollars so they were come kind of, they were pretty cool they had a whole bunch of hats as well and skirts too those skirts are kind of like the clueless skirts <laughs> And these are really cool bags. I had a clam bag, french fries, pineapple, dinosaur, roxasaurus. <laughs> a camera bag, that was really cool. I think these are coin purses and uh, would you look at that? Who remembers these from my wish video? I paid $2 for those. These are chocolate looking mirrors and a unicorn portable charger and a doge. He's saying, hey, uh, you kids wanna buy some wow? But look at the fluffy butt! Look at the fluffy butt! Just appreciate the fluffy butt! So cute! So this place had three pairs of socks for a thousand yen, and these socks are all really cool. I loved these ones with fruit on them. Especially the cherries and the strawberries, they're adorable. And also these ones with the little embroidered love hearts, they're sweet too. Oh, and pizza. Oh, these are really nice. These are kind of transparent. They were really lovely. And this cupcake, and then there were rainbow socks. Now this store, this store was really cool, but it was expensive. So this place is called Calzedonia, I think. Calzedonia. So these socks, they were all so interesting. I really liked these ones. I fell in love with them, but I think they were 15 or $20, all these socks. And I have a pair a little bit like that that I got from Boohoo. I've never seen any like this before, but I feel like maybe I could make something like this if I put in a little bit of effort, like this butterfly, that's beautiful, I love those. Drug honey. <laughs> now, this store would have been right up my alley a couple of years ago, I used to dress like this, but uh, I didn't go in. And then there was a potato chip store. So this entire store is literally dedicated to different flavors of potato chips, like these ones are honey butter, there was like spicy ones, and these ones were bacon and cheese. All different flavors so I bought a couple of those and I took them back to the hotel and we tasted them. I don't know what I'm more excited about. Butter and honey or bacon and cheese. I actually feel like I'd be more excited about this if it was just bacon. I don't know I kind of feel like cheese doesn't need to be there like bacon is such a fantastic flavor on its own. What do you want to open first? Dan. F fiance. Drum roll. He wants the bacon. Would you classify this as peel porn? Peel porn. Oh yeah. Oh, I like the fancy packaging. Look. Oh. Okay, it's small packets. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Olive oil, potato chips. It, you know what this smells like? For those Australians out there, this smells like bacon shapes, cheese and bacon shapes. Okay. Dan, do you want one before I eat it? You don't? Mm, okay. okay. I got hit with cheese flavor first. 
artificial bacon flavor is definitely there. But what I like the most is the texture. And listen to the crunch. These are very, 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 very thick chips. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, all right. Just kind of tastes like... Cheap chips. Huh? Cheap chips. Tastes like cheap chips. But still, no complaints from me. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit fancy. <laughs> Sweet potato series. Small bag. Pause. Definitely smells like butter. They're shaped like french fries. You wouldn't like them. They're not very nice. Here. These ones are much better. So, oh, give me that. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. 